praise God, praise God, praise God. I just love to give God the praise because he's worthy of our praise. We thank God for you and for him allowing you to join us on the broadcast for today. I mean, if you are joining us for the first time, a big, 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 big welcome to each and every one of you. And those of you who are regular on this broadcast, we're grateful that you joined us again. I'm still wishing you a happy and healthy and blessed and successful 2022. And so shall it be by the grace of God. A sermon today is planned to help you achieve just that. What is that? A peaceful, healthy, happy 2022. That is the purpose of my sermon for today. Well, I'm just going to keep the theme and the title of my sermon to myself until I'm done with the announcements. And then when the announcements are done, We'll go into the world. Please help us invite a friend and invite a neighbor to come join us on the broadcast of today. Everybody is going to be blessed. I have been specially blessed putting together the sermon for today. But also, we need you on our podcast. Yes, Bishop Etiola's podcast. Now, you can access this podcast by downloading my podcast app on the Google Play Store. Many of you have, many of you need to. And uh, if you don't use the uh, Android phone, then you cannot download from the Google Play Store. But by all means, you can download from the Spreaker, uh, the Spreaker app. That's all you need to do, just go to the uh, Android uh, Play Store, the Google Play Store, and download the Spreaker app. Bringing that into your phone will enable you to listen to my podcast on both the iOS and the Android phones. That's especially for those of you who use the iOS and cannot download on the Google Play Store. The Spreaker app. Spreaker is spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. Join us and join listeners from over 40 countries of the world that have downloaded over 56,000 episodes of prayers and sermons and communions blessed place to be if your desire is to have your spirit refreshed. We've added listeners from several countries, like I told you on last week, countries like Samoa, in the South Pacific, Mexico, Bermuda, Togo, Australia, and of course, Moldova in Eastern Europe. Thank God for those from Burkina Faso that are also with us. I implore you all to help us share the news so that others can come join and be blessed on our podcast. But we're not on podcast alone. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and uh, we're on Twitter. And of course, we're on television. Talking about TV. God has opened doors for us in the Caribbean islands and so many people are being blessed, so many people are being touched. And if you happen to be listening to me and watching me from the Caribbean islands, I'd like to say a big welcome to you. To those of you who are in Guyana, you can check us out on RBS TV 13, a giant station for the Lord. We're on there every Saturday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. local time. And if you live in any of the 23 Caribbean island countries, you can also watch us through Mercy and Truth TV in Jamaica. And I suspect you are watching us from there right now. 
That's every Saturday from 2.30 to 3.30 local time. And every Wednesday morning at 1.30 a.m. local time. We are also on Logic One, TV channel 112 in that great country of Jamaica. Three times a week. And many, many, many other times of the week, which I can't even keep up with, where we broadcast our prayers, that we uh, record every Thursday and every Friday at 7 p.m. Please help us spread the word about this broadcast on these stations. I would just like to say a good thank you, big one to the owners of this station and to those that walk there. May 2022 be a year of progress, great progress for you as individuals and for you as stations. And please don't forget to listen to us on our own radio station, Fresh Waves Radio. It's on as I speak. We're on the air 24-7. And on there, you can listen to a variety of programming that have been a blessing to many and will surely be a blessing to you too. Fresh Waves Radio. You can download the app from for both the Android and the Apple phones from their respective app stores. Just type in Fresh Waves Radio, install the app, and you are ready to go. Please help us spread the word. Oh, by the way, if you don't care about downloading any app, you can just go on your computer and type in freshwavesradio.com and you'll be there, ready to listen. I also invite you to join me every Thursday and every Friday uh, during the week at 7 p.m. You're going to be blessed joining us for prayers live on Facebook and also on my Spreaker uh, app. Many people's lives have been changed and touched and transformed, listening and praying along with these prayers. A trial, they say, will convince you. You're going to be blessed if you will just make it a point to join us this week, Thursday night at 7, Friday night at 7, praying at the throne of mercy, life-changing experience. It has been for many. And it will be for you also. Shall we pray? As we break the bread of life together today. Father bless us. We cannot do anything without you. Let your anointing rest on me. Let your anointing impact your word into the lives of your people. We'll be careful to give you the praise Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. And amen, my sermon today is about a grace, yes, that you need to ask for at the very onset of this year, 2022. That's what I'm talking about. A certain grace that you need, a certain grace that I need also. The title of my sermon is Grace to be at the right place at the right time. Isn't that beautiful? Grace to be at the right place at the right time in 2022. If a happy new year is what you desire, then you need to pray on a daily basis that God will always direct your steps to be at the right place at the right time. The writer of the book of Ecclesiastes he has something very interesting to say to us about being at the right place at the right time. In Ecclesiastes chapter 9, I'm reading there in verse number 11. This is what he said. I returned, he said, and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, 
nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Did you hear that? Time and chance happeneth to them all. That portion that says chance happeneth to them all really does not mean chance in the original. That's not what it says in the original. There is no Hebrew word for coincidence. All right. The word chance actually means God's appointment. Hallelujah. God's appointment. In other words, God appoints it for you by his grace and by his mercy to be at the right place at the right time. Most of the time, his loves one are not his, his, his loved ones rather are not even aware that they have been unconsciously led by him into his plan, into his purpose, into his place for their lives. They just find themselves at the right place, at the right time, and everything just clicks and comes together just like that. At a place that their strength cannot take them, according to the writer of this book, to a place that their swiftness cannot take them. God can take them to a place that their wisdom, their riches, their understanding, their skills, or even human favor can never engineer for them. God engineers that kind of blessing and grace for his own. That is the kind of grace we need to come under this 2022. When God's appointed times will be where we find ourselves all the time. Now, that is the heritage of all God's children. So if we desire it, if we pray for it, Believe me, we're taking the right step because our lives will be greatly blessed to be in the right place at the right time in 2022. Look at these powerful scriptures. Psalm 37 in verse 23. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Of course, that's a good woman too. Are ordered by the Lord. And he or she delighted in his way. As long as you delight in, in the way of God, you are living for God, you're walking for God, you want the will of God to be done in your life, you know what God will do? He will take you by your hand. He will direct your steps so that you will be at the right place at the right time in this new year. Psalm 85, I'm reading in verse 13. It says, righteousness shall go before him. Look at the next statement. And shall set us in the way of his steps. How wonderful life will be if God will set you and I always, not in our own steps, not in the steps of human counselors, but in the steps of God. Isaiah 30, 21 has something else to say about this. And thine ears, listen to this people, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, walk in it. This is the way, walk in it. This is the way, walk in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, it would have been wonderful for you to always be guided, for you always to be led and directed by hearing a voice in your ears, either consciously or unconsciously, saying to you, this is the way, that is the way, this is not the way, that is not the way, 
walking this way. Wow. You will walk into blessing. You will walk into upliftment. You will walk into destiny. You will walk into success all through 2022. And you know this, Psalm 8, Romans chapter 8, rather, in verse number 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You know what my prayer for you is in 2022? That you will always be led by the Spirit of God. You will always be directed by the Spirit of God. I got some specific and beautiful stories to share with you from the Word of God concerning being at the right place at the right time. But before I do that, I would like to share with you two or three true stories about the importance of being at the right place at the right time. Actually, after hearing these stories, you will see the need this year to be at the right place at the right time. Listen, it's good for your spiritual life, it's good for your business life, it's good even for your health, it's good for your provision, it's good for your protection, it's good for your marital life, it's good for your academic life. Turn anywhere you will, being at the right place at the right time is good for your overall well-being. Grace. To be at the right place at the right time. My story number one, true story. This is gonna surprise you. This God is a good God. There was a man that was walking down a dimly lit street late one evening. All of a sudden, he heard the screams of a lady coming from behind the bushes. And he was alarmed. What is this lady doing here? So he listened and slowly, slowly, he realized that what he was hearing were the unmistakable sounds of a struggle. There was a struggle going on, heavy grunting, frantic scuffling and tearing of fabric only yards away from where he stood. Guess what was happening? A woman was being attacked. It was an attempted rape. While he was debating what to do, the cries of this female voice began to grow weaker and weaker and weaker. So he knew that he had to act fast before the attacker accomplished his purpose. So he decided to risk his own life. He didn't know what the guy had with him, a gun, a knife, or whatever. So he knew he was not a brave guy, neither was he athletic, but thank God he found the moral courage and physical strength from nowhere to rescue this girl. But when he finally re resolved that he was going to help this girl, he became strangely transformed. He ran into the bushes and pulled the assailant from off this woman. Grappling, they fell down to the ground where they wrestled for a few minutes until the guy who was attacking this girl jumped up and ran for his life. Panting, he scrambled upright and approached the girl who was crouched behind a tree, sobbing and crying. In the darkness, he could barely see her outline, but he could certainly sense her trembling shock, not wanting to frighten her further. He at first spoke to her from a distance and he said, young lady, it, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He tried to talk like that to soothe the lady. And he said, the man ran away, the man ran away. You are safe now, you are safe. There was a long pause 
And then he heard the words ordered in wonder, spoken in amazement. You know what the word said? The word said, Daddy, is that you? And then from behind the tree, guess who stepped out? His youngest daughter. He just rescued his youngest daughter from being raped. Talk about being at the right place at the right time. Who could have engineered that if not God Almighty? And you know what was so funny? That was not the usual path he took home in the evenings. He just decided to take that path and walk home and there he was. He never knew God was leading him to rescue his own daughter. I pray for you that this year you will always be at the right place at the right time. Let me share with you another story that happened in 2003. That's several years ago. A 60, true story now. A 67 year old woman had a heart attack on an airplane several thousand feet above the sea level when a crew member asked if there was a doctor on the plane. Guess what happened? 15, 15 cardiologists stood up to help this lady. They were traveling to a conference of cardiologists and they were experienced men who were ready to help and guess what they did help and this woman was saved right place right time those stories can be very powerful we all have experiences like that I'm sure if I were to give you the opportunity to tell us today some of your right place, right time experiences, some of us will probably bust into tears hearing what God did for you. That is what I want to be your experience on a daily basis in 2022, that you will always be at the right place at the right time. Suppose this woman had taken an airplane that didn't even have a doctor on or the Doctors had taken another flight. Only God knows what the result will have been. I pray for you. No matter what is wired into your 2022, may it never be without being at the right place at the right time. Let me share with you another story. Real life, right place, right time. It saved the life of of a child of God. And this happened also in 2003. These things happen year after year. I just pray that you will not be a casualty. And you will not cry and say, Oh God, I was in the wrong place. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't have been there. I shouldn't have gone there. You know, in 2003, a brother was in Jakarta, Indonesia. I don't know if you remember that thing that happened in Indonesia in 2003. Well, here it is. A brother was there for a business trip. He was staying in an hotel. You remember the bomb that went off in Jakarta in 2003? He was in the lobby of that Marriott Hotel when a bomb went off outside the hotel. The bomb tore through the lobby of that hotel. And he was inside that lobby, and with his own eyes, he saw bodies flying past him, body parts flying past him. The deafening blast shook everything around him. It was like in seconds. Finally, the dust settled down. He examined himself. There was blood all over him, debris strewn all over the lobby all around him 
But amazingly, amazingly, he was completely untouched, completely unhurt. This is what happened. Listen to this very closely. At the moment when the bomb exploded, he happened. He just happened. That's the way we would say it. He just happened to walk behind a pillar. And you know what happened? That pillar protected him from the impact of the blast. Now just think for a minute. What would have happened to this man if he had reached that pillar just a few seconds before or after the bomb went off? But God timed it so perfectly for him that he was at the right place at the right time. Do you know what our scripture says again? The man of God said, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. Well, guess what happens to them? Time and chance happeneth to them all. It was at the right place. It was at the right time, divinely engineered for him. You know what I thought about? No matter how intelligent you are, and many of us are very intelligent, no matter how fat your savings account is, no matter how prestigious your family name is, there is no way, no way you can know beforehand when to position yourself behind a pillar just as a bomb that you are unaware of explodes near you. No way, only God can put you at the right place, at the right time. It was the Lord who placed this Christian brother behind that pillar at the precise moment. Glory to God. At the precise moment, his steps were literally ordered by the Lord. All glory to Jesus, for he is our true pillar of protection. I feel like shouting right now, my friends, listen to me. Nothing happens by chance. The Lord knows how to place you at the right place at the right time. You can depend on Jesus for right happenings. They all come by his grace. They all come by his unmerited favor. You know what my prayer is for you for 2022? Is that God will guide you in everything that you do. That God will guide you everywhere you go. That his grace and his mercy will lead you supernaturally every step of the way this year. Just like he led, guess who? Abraham's servant to find Rebecca a wife. Let's go into the scriptures now. Look at the story in Genesis chapter 24. It's a long story, but it's worth being read all through so you can grasp the story properly. Genesis chapter 24. I'm reading from verse number 12. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, Send me good speed this day and show me kindness concerning my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the wall of the water, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. Let it come to pass that a damsel to whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee that I may drink, and she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness 
unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that behold, Rebekah came, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the daughter of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. Look at the next verse. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. Listen to this. And the servant ran to meet her and said to her, I pray thee, uh, let me get a drink of water from thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my Lord. And he, she hasted and laid down her pitcher uh, upon her hand and gave him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, Listen to this. I will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking. And she hasted and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water, and drew for all his camels. And the man, wondering at her, held his peace to wit whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. I pray that God will make 2022 a prosperous journey for you. And you know the sign you will see? You will be at the right place, and you will be at the right time. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I'm the daughter of Bethuel. What? You call it coincidence? I call it God arranged. Hallelujah. The son of Melchor, which she bear unto Nahor. And she said moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. And the man bowed down his head. Listen to what he did. He worshipped the Lord. He blessed the Lord. He praised the Lord. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I been in the way the Lord led me. Did you hear that? I been in the way the Lord led me to my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of the mother uh, of her mother's house these things. Isn't God a good God? Leading you, guiding you, directing you every step of the way. What an amazing story. You know the prayer I pray for you today? Especially those of you looking for a spouse. You're a man you're looking for a wife. You're a lady you're looking for a husband. And you're praying and you're saying, God, guide me, God, lead me. I pray for you that God will guide you, God will lead you. Maybe you're already married and you're looking for a wife for your son and a husband for your daughter. This should encourage you that God can lead you and God can lead them to be at the right place at the right time. Or maybe you're looking for a job. God can lead you to a place where they are looking for somebody to hire. There's a guy who got a job not too long ago. He just, he just went somewhere and it happened to be the day they were looking for someone that had his qualifications. Just, just went to visit somebody there. And that's how he got a job. Being at the right place at the right time. Do you know that this thing also works in spiritual warfare? I pray for you. In 2022, may God put you in the right place at the right time that will help you to win necessary victories for yourself and for those who are around you. You know, such was the story of jail in Judges chapter 4, written there from verse number 14. And the Lord discomfited Sisera and all his chariots and all his hosts 
with the edge of the sword before Barak, so that Sisera lighted down off his chariot and fled away on his feet. But Barak pursued after the chariots and after the host unto Harosheth of the Gentiles. And all the hosts of Sisera fell down upon the edge of the sword, and there was not a man left. How be it? Sisera fled away on his feet to the tent of Jael, the wife of Heba the Kenite. For there was peace between Jabin the king of Hazor and the house of Heba the Kenite. And Jael went out to meet Sisera and said unto him, Turn in, my lord, turn in to me, fear not. And when he had turned in into her hand to the tent, she covered him with a mantle. Watch God, ready to defeat a wicked man. And he said unto her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water to drink, for I am thirsty. And she opened a bottle of milk and gave him drink and covered him. Again he said unto her, Stand in the door of the tent, and if it shall be, that any man doth come and inquire of thee and say, Is there any man here? Thou shalt say, No. Then Jael Heba's wife took a nail of the tent and took a hammer in her hand and went softly into him and smote the nail into his temples and fastened it to the ground, for he was fast asleep and weary. So, the enemy died. And behold, as Barak pursued Sisera, Jael came out to meet him and said unto him, Come, and I will show thee the man whom thou seekest. And when he came into our tent, behold, Sisera lay dead, and the nail was in his temple. So God subdued on that day Jabin, the king of Canaan, before the children of Israel. I don't want to add my own to the Bible, but I may just very correctly say, because God allowed jail to be at the right place at the right time. He made all things to walk together for our good and for this victory that she needed so much. God walked it out perfectly. For this lady to be at home at the right time. Suppose she wasn't home. Suppose she wasn't in the tent. This victory could not have been won. God also made it possible for there to be milk at home at that time. And if I may say, God made it possible for there to be nail and a hammer in the house at that time. The war was won with ease. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what battles you've been fighting. I don't know what wars are waiting you in 2022. May God make your victories easy for you. May he station you and necessary weapons where victory can be assured you. I'm preaching today about in 2022, you will receive grace to be at the right place at the right time. Guess what? Even when it looks, listen to this now, even when it looks like you are at the wrong place, may God turn it around for his own good to fulfill his purpose. No such was the story of a lady and this is another true story. The lady, early one morning, went to a nearby convenience store. When she came back home, an escaped convict was already in her house. When she returned home, this escaped convict had made his way into her house and guess what he did early that day? He had shot and killed four people during his escape. You know what he did? He took her hostage and held her in her apartment for nine hours. 
tied her up, threatened to kill her unless she did whatever she, he said. I love this lady. Instead of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, she was exactly where God wanted her to be. While most of us might panic, she began to talk to this man who was holding her hostage. And she read to him from that best-selling book, The Purpose Driven Life. And she read from chapter to chapter. And slowly, but surely, something happened in the heart of that criminal. Yeah. A secular magazine called it an encounter with God. The convict himself called this lady God's angel, placed there by God himself. God had directed the steps of this lady. God had led this lady that morning. So she could be God's presence in the life of someone that had reached the end of his road. We might plan our course, but it is God who determines our steps. That's how the guy got saved. That's how the guy gave up himself. No life was lost after he encountered this girl. Wow. I pray that 2022 will be a year where you will be at the right place at the right time. And even if it looks as if it's a wrong place, God will supernaturally turn it to be the right place at the right time. Beautiful, beautiful story. You know, such was the amazing story of Ruth. In the Old Testament, I can give you many more stories in the Bible. You remember Zacchaeus, the tax collector, right place, right time. Jesus was passing by and he was already there and Jesus got there, looked up at the sycamore tree. The rest is history. This guy got saved. What about Philip the Evangelist? Join yourself to this chariot. The guy was at the right place at the right time. And the guy got saved. I just pray for you. This year will be a different year for you. You will be at the right place. You will be at the right time. And you know what? It will not be you guiding yourself. It will be God Almighty directing, guiding, and showing you the way. I said such was the story of Ruth. You remember Ruth? And Naomi, well, let me read to you the part that really gets my attention. In Ruth chapter 2, beginning to read there from verse number 19. And her mother-in-law said unto her, Where hast thou gleaned today? And where rodest thou? Blessed be he that did take knowledge of thee. And she showed her mother-in-law with whom she had wrought and said, The man's name whom I wrought today is Boaz. And Naomi said unto her, Wow! You know what? Blessed be he of the Lord who hath not left off his kindness to the living and to the dead. And Naomi said unto her, The man is near kin unto us, one of our king's men. <laughs> this is beautiful. And Ruth the Moabite said, He said unto me also, Thou shalt keep fast by my young men until they have ended all my harvest. And Naomi said unto Ruth, her daughter-in-law, it is good, my daughter, that thou go out with his maidens, that they meet thee not in any other field. So she kept fast 
by the maidens of Boaz to glean unto the end of barley harvest and the wheat harvest and dwelt with her mother-in-law. God, God, amazing God. I praise your name on this broadcast today. God truly works in mysterious ways for your good and for my good. It puts us in the right place at the right time. You know, Ruth had experienced extreme kindness from this man called Boaz. She knows who he is, but she doesn't know why he matters. It looked at him as just any other man that was being kind. Ruth doesn't know about his connection to Naomi. And of course, Naomi didn't know who it was that showed kindness to Ruth. All we know is that Ruth happened. Did you hear that word? <laughs> I love that word. Happened. Ruth happened. It just happened. No, it doesn't just happen. It's engineered by the God of heaven. These things just don't happen by accident, folks. They are engineered by God. He just happened to glean in the field of Boaz, who went out of his way, not knowing her, to honor and protect her. She recognized the hand of God in how he treated her. But beyond that, she didn't see the big picture. God was up to something. Ah, in 2022, may God be up to many things in your life. And may he guide you in such a way that you even have no idea what God is up to. You know, the closing verses of Ruth chapter 2 tell us how these two widows, one old, one young, responded to the astonishing grace that God gave them. And that's what I want you to do this year. This year will be a year of praise for you. You'll be thanking God for this. And before you finish thanking God for that, another thing will happen. Ruth returned home very tired, but glad. She carried an armful of fresh grain, enough to feed the two women for a couple of days. How should we react when God comes through for us? How should we react? When God puts us in the right place at the right time and it leads to blessing, what do you do when your prayers are answered in 2022? How do you respond to God's extreme kindness to you? Well, what we need to do is exactly what Naomi and Ruth did. You know what they did? They celebrated. This, this year, you're going to celebrate. You're going to celebrate. You're going to celebrate the goodness of God. You're going to celebrate the mercy of God because he's going to put you at the right place at the right time in all places. You know what her mother-in-law said to her? He said, where did you, she said, where did you gather barley today? And where did you walk? And then she said, may the Lord bless the man who noticed you. This year, people will notice you. Not because they choose to notice you, but because God directs them to notice you. You know, at that moment, Naomi had no idea who owned the field that produced the bounty of food that this lady brought home. Even so, not knowing who he was, she offered a prayer blessing for this man without knowing him. That should be your attitude this year. Pray for people you don't know. Give thanks to God. For the people he uses in your life. Ruth told her mother-in-law, whom she had walked with, and said, I found out the name of the man. His name is Boaz. And Naomi was shocked. Naomi said to Ruth, May the Lord bless him, oh, may the Lord bless him. You know why? Because he's somebody I know. And because God has not abandoned us and he himself has not abandoned his kindness to the living and to the dead, then Naomi said, that man Boaz is close relative. He is one of our family 
redeem us. And I said, what? You mean I didn't just go to glean in just any field today? That wasn't the only field in the area. Why did God lead her to this field? That's the way God works, my friends, when he puts you at the right place at the right time. You know, the word kindness that this lady used comes from a Hebrew word used over 200 times in the Old Testament. It's a difficult word to translate because it encompasses love, uh, kindness, loyalty, grace, and mercy. Naomi, who not so long ago called everything bitter, bitter, everything is bitter. He now sees the invisible hand of God at work in leading Ruth to the right field, the field of Boaz. I think Naomi will say, wait a minute, Ruth, of all the fields in all the towns in this area, how come it was the field of Boaz that you walked into. That was how it felt with her because God took her by the hand without this lady knowing anything, led her to the right place. After all, Naomi had suffered a lot. She had had years of hardship in Moab, long journey back home with Ruth by her side, living full, coming back empty. After all that, she finally realizes that God has not forgotten her. You know what's going to happen to you this year? God's going to prove to you that he has not forgotten you because some dramatic blessings will be sent into your life by his engineering. Ruth happened, happened. That's the word we use to meet Boaz who is the right man in the right place at the right. Why was Boaz on the field that day? God engineered it. That morning when Ruth woke up, she had no idea what was about to happen. You know what I'm believing God for you? <laughs> you will wake up days this year and things you never imagined. God will put it together for you. You can trace it now, the fingerprints of God in this seemingly random event of life. God, number one, guided Ruth to a place of peace, unknown to her. God guided Ruth to a place of protection, unknown to her. I love this Jesus. So Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, Ruth, 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 my daughter, it is good for you to walk with his female servant, so that nothing will happen to you that will hurt you. In any other field, young men might accost Ruth, seeking to take advantage of her, because she was a young, cute lady from another country. By staying in the field of Boaz, Ruth became protected. Hallelujah! And Boaz will be able to keep an eye on her. Look at my God. But do you notice also? God guided her, not just to a place of peace, not just to a place of protection, but to a place of provision. Ruth stayed close to Boaz's female servants and gathered grain until the barley and the wheat harvest were finished. And she lived with her mother-in-law. To crown it all, people. To crown it all. She ended up marrying Boaz and preparing the way for the lineage of Christ. What a powerful example of being at the right place at the right time. In 2022, we all need to be in the place that Ruth was. I don't know how hopeless things look for you, but God will take you this year to the place of peace. 
God will take you to the place of protection. God will take you to the place of provision that helps you to fulfill destiny. That's why I want to pray for you right now that the grace that Ruth received, the grace that Naomi received will be your portion and will be my portion. That as we go up and down this year, as we go up and down this year, it will not be by power, it will not be by might, that all the great things we're looking for will be accomplished in our lives. But God will direct us, God will lead us to a place where we will say, like the servant of Abraham, I was in the way, but God was leading me and guiding me. Heavenly Father, I pray for my friends that are watching me today. Even as we go on in this journey in 2022, I pray that your hand will hold our hands and lead us and guide us and direct us into your perfect place of blessing and of prosperity for our lives. We thank you because you will do much more than we have asked. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Go on and walk into your place of peace, into your place of joy, into your place of protection, and into your place of provision. And finally, may it make this year to be a year of destiny for you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Until next week, Bishop saying, stay safe. Bye-bye.